all right guys welcome back to another video in this video we'll be seeing something more on the sqlite 3 and how to manipulate the database objects and tables uh, using a gui so the gui which i have created here is created using um, kinter the standard library and the uh, basic and for database i've used sqlite 3 so this is the code So I'll just explain you line by line. First of all, I just imported the Kinter, imported the SQLite 3. Both are the standard libraries which you get in Python. Then I just created an object for Kinter, the geometry and etc. These are the entry variables for entry fields. And this is the menu. The menu is a bit small, but I'll just show you the output in a minute after just showing you the code and this is the menu section yes this is the uh, about menus and then from here i just started creating a database by connecting this is the database which i've created and within that database i've created an table that is people and in people there are two columns that is name and phone and after creating committing the database as well as committing the cursor is important so make sure that you have some knowledge of it this is the entry fields and those text variables which i have shown you above relating to the entries and these are the various function that is function for inserting then function for showing uh, what is the content within the database table wise the string very uh, the string again used for updating the contact generally here we are just updating the name by considering the phone number so if i provide a phone number and i want to update a name for example sam i want to update sam so i just need to provide the uh, phone number of sam so it will automatically update the name from sam to whatever name you want so this is the function for updating this is the function for updating then this is the function for deleting a particular row in the table then this is for dropping the entire table so if you are familiar with some basics of sql you should know this delete drop and updating and inserting and these are the buttons which I've just binded all the functions. It's pretty simple. And uh, yeah, that's it. These are the buttons and the functions are above for inserting, showing, and rest of all DML operations. So I'll just show you the output. So this is output, this is GUI, this is the menu. So if I place over here, you just uh, get the documentation of SQLite so if you need to do something more on SQLite do some research and need to read some stuff related to SQLite you can just refer over here then I'll just show you over here yes so this is the main GUI so for creating a table I just need to uh, give the name and the phone so it will dynamically create a table so example Sam and the phone number is example one two three and if i press submit it will just add the sam and the uh, name sam and the phone number one two three into the table so submit so for looking that looking for that table you need this uh, which is a software to look into the database so open the database This is the database which I've created and open. So you can see this is the name, the phone column, and this is the name which I've just entered right now. So I'll just show you everything which has been happening, which I'm doing in the GUI and showing off uh, in the data uh, database software. And if you want to see something, one minute, I'll just, yeah.
so it is a bit messy right now so just pardon me for that and if you want to see show example I'll just stretch this up and uh, so so you can see by pressing the show button I'm just basically displaying the content of the table that's it nothing much about it and then you can add more name example said one two three four and submit and if you refresh this we'll see said and I'll just add one more Harry submit Harry so there are three names right now and show so you can see Sam Sid and Harry I've been shown over here that's just a select option select method of the SQLite I want to update Sid into some other name so just provide one two three four the phone number of Sid and I want to replace it with some name like call update and let's see in the database so as you can see I've just updated the name from set to call by providing just a phone number and now we'll just go here and see this is the operation I'll just show you so you can see it's been changed to call now I'll just move on to the next thing which is delete now I just want to the I, I'll just show you the program first of all for deleting where is the data yes so this is the command for delete so delete from people where name so generally you have to provide a name then only then only it will delete the row so I'll just provide I just want to delete I'll just minimize this yeah so here I just want to delete Harry the entire row so I'll just do Harry and delete and now I'll show you over here so you can see Harry the entire uh, row is deleted of Harry and there are only two left right now and we have one more function so this is the drop table so for the basic information drop table means uh, deleting the entire table so if you if I press drop table and refresh this you can see there's nothing the entire table has been deleted and yeah that's pretty much now if again I press drop table it will show me an error that there is no such table as people because I've deleted the entire table so that's it for the GUI and SQLite 3. SQLite 3. So I'll just show you the code again. And the code will be provided in the GitHub link on the description below. So you can check that out too. And if there is more improvement and some more suggestions, they are always welcomed. For that, you can comment down below. And this is the code. Do some more twitches and bring something more new. So this is the code. You can see the entire code in the description below in the GitHub link. So this is the output. And that's it guys and thanks for watching.